All right, everyone. Um, I am 100% done with my HasLab Afterlife Proton Pack modifications. I have touched every square inch of this pack and modded everything I possibly could. Um, so I did not show how I did the ribbon cable. I was kind of in a hurry. But all I did was I cut out the inner, I cut off the old stock ribbon and just gutted the inside. A lot of people were peeling the this piece apart and trying to get the metal pins out and everything like that. I literally just took a Dremel and cut all the insides out since this ribbon is so much thicker than the stock fake one it came with. So it needed the extra room anyways to fit in there. Um, unless, I mean, I could have drilled the holes and did all that, you know, but so I just gutted all that out and then <laughs> super glued the shit out of it. <laughs> That's all I did. Um, it's not the best way to do it. I think the other way is the more professional way of doing it, but I didn't want to deal with getting those pins undone and all that crap. It just looked like such a hassle. So I gutted it, shoved it in there, super glued the crap out of it. That's how I did it. Um, if you do do that, just make sure the glue doesn't run into these sliding mechanisms here because then they will be, they'll freeze and you won't be able to use them. So just be careful of that if you do it, if you do do it this way. And then this top part is a piece that I got off of Etsy. Um, I'll try to leave the links in the description below, but it just sticks on top of the uh, their original part. So it, may, it makes it look metal. It's not metal, but it just makes it look metal. Um, I think it looks a little better. I still got to weather it a little bit more. I got to darken that up a little bit. Because um, in the movie, it really is dark, uh, more black. But I am officially done. The ribbon looks great. It looks so much better. I got my correct iron, ar iron arm on now. So now officially, every single piece on this pack, every hardware, wire, hose... <clears throat> uh, clippered valves, brass fittings, all the fittings, everything is 100% um, real. Um, I did try to make everything as movie accurate as I possibly could. Um, as you can tell, I've done more weathering to certain parts. Um, yeah, man, it, I'm, I'm stoked. Very, very happy with it. Um... Yeah, so now I'm going to sell it, so no one can. <laughs> I may sell it way down the road, um, but I'm definitely going to enjoy it a bit first. Um, so yeah, every, I've done everything to this pack, every single thing you can think of. Um, all real hard, like, I, I'm not going to repeat myself. I always repeat myself. I don't know why I do that. Um, got the blue lens in here. I got a JBL Bluetooth speaker inside there installed, which makes it a lot louder. Got my wand, got the vents cut out, real clippered valve on the wand as well, and all that jazz. So, But I'm actually going to make another video to show, go through in detail everything I did. So I'll, I'll, I'll save it for that. So, all right, guys, that is the GB1 Correct ribbon cable. I found this cable on eBay. The guy only had two. At least he said he only had two. Uh, they weren't cheap at all. I picked up both of them just in case I wanted to build a uh, Ghostbusters 1 pack out of this. So, um, so yeah, I'm, I'm definitely happy. So, all right, guys, good luck with your packs. Any questions, let me know. Um, also, yeah, here's the spacers for the Alice frame. And my... Um, my new motherboard with the warning sticker in the back. That warning sticker could be a little higher, I think, but also this Alice frame should be a lot lower. Um, when HasLab built the holes for the Alice frame screws, they put them a little too high. The Alice frame should Alice frame should be uh, definitely lower on the pack, to where you should be able to sit the pack down on the ground and and the Alice frame holds itself up and it won't do that. So you need the stand, but you should be able to do that if it was in the correct place. So if it was in the correct place, you would see that, that red warning sticker on the back. 
Um, so yeah. So anyways, I am going to make one more video and go into more highly detail of everything that I did. And yeah. So, all right guys, thank you so much once again for all the kind words. Um, and I know I'm horrible at the names of everything. Um, even if I know them, I, for, for some reason, forget them when I go to make a video. And, um, yeah, like I said, I just do my best. I am definitely not a um, professional at any of this. Anyone can do this. Anyone who doesn't know anything about anything can do this. So it's, it's really not hard. It's just having the uh, uh, courage to break into your pack. <laughs> and, you know, and not be scared about breaking something or ruining it. Um, but it's kind of hard to ruin, it, especially an afterlife pack, because... That's the kind of look you're going for anyways, right? So that's the way I looked at it. So, all right, I got to get off here. Thanks, guys.